Good morning, sweetheart. Look, I was thinking, you know, this week maybe we could uh, get on a game of tennis at the club and maybe do lunch. You and me? Yeah. Oh, good one, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, kids. Uh-oh, needy father alert. Hey, hey, hold it, hold it. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Come on, Dad. Every time Mom goes away, you start wanting to do things with us. It's not fair. So what are you kids saying? What we're saying is, here's $10. Go to the movies. Run! Hey, 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 come on! Now, you missed a smarty. Well, hi, Will, you want to go to a movie? Sure would, Uncle Phil. Oh, Thanks, oh, man. I appreciate that. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I can say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it, yo, home's the Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, yo home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. him. Dad, pretty quick for a big guy. I mean, he kept up with the car for a whole block. He couldn't help it. He got his coat stuck in the door. Wow, Will, clean clothes. But is your probation officer stopping by? <laughs> no, my buddy Keith is coming out from Philly. I'm gonna show him around. Great, he can hang out with Dad. <laughs> Well, actually, you know, Keith is a comic. He's gonna be large, too. He's coming out here as a big showcase at the stand-up club. Yeah, well, I think I speak for all of us when I say, so what? <laughs> and I think I speak for myself when I say, Uncle Phil, they in here! <laughs> all right, who pushed me? <laughs> <laughs> 